So Southwest Ferrari has just updated once again. Um, this video I'm going to be going over what's uh, what's been changed and new cars, stuff like that. And yeah, let's get straight into it. So starting with the change logs um, from this update, uh, the remodeled cars are the Ford F450 2020, uh, Ford F250 2020. The 2018 Mercedes-Benz E63, uh, the Bugani Hyra, the Dodge Challenger Demon, um, they're the ones that have been remodelled. Um, there's uh, there's new Dodge Challengers. There's three variants. There's a Bad Cat Wide Body. There's a Bad Cat and there's a Scat Pack Wide Body. Uh, I don't know much about muscle cars, so don't ask me what that means. But I'm just guessing one's either like more powerful than the other. I've got different engines or something like that. So um, next we've got a Maserati MC12. That's a limited. It, um, it will be limited until 7 p.m. EST uh, today. That's well, at the time of recording this pe uh, this video. Uh, they've added the Audi R8 2008. Um, the 2009 Dodge Caravan, the 2019 Chrysler Pacifica, and the 2022 Audi RS3 Sportback. So they're the cars that have been added. The um, with the with the customization shops, they've introduced something. It's like um, it's well they say a balancing system. So it's like um, you have to be a certain rank in the uh, in the uh, so either Sussie's Mechanic Shop or Sunset Performance, you have to be over a certain rank to install certain parts. So for example, so it says here, uh, you must be rank 2 plus to install stage 2 parts, that's for the engine. Um, and you must be rank 4 plus to install stage 3 parts. Um, however, if you've already got this on like cars that you've owned before, as long as you don't change the perform the engine performance on that, then they should still um, they should still be on the car that you have. But I don't know. They might have refreshed all the cars there. I can't remember though. Anyway, they've added they've added a new category of wheels called Euro. They've added hey uh, these are the HRE um, HRE. <laughs> These are the real life wheels, like the names of them. So the HRE 300, HRE 501, HRE FF01, BBS CIR, BBS FIR, BBS E88 Brass, uh, BBS E88 Silver, BBS LMR, BBS Super RS, Volk Racing 2NE1A, I hope I've pronounced that right, Work VS. Uh, XX and AC Schnitzer Type 2. Again, I hope I've pronounced that right. I've probably butchered it though. Um, last thing on that is they've updated the sounds for the track court, the Jeep track court, the Dodge Durango, and the Dodge Charger Bad Cats. Um, and they fixed the Tahoe slash Suburban tail light staying on when out of the car. So that's obviously when it's on auto mode. Anyway, uh, let's move on to the actual cars themselves. Okay, so moving on to the vehicles. Um, they've refreshed the Dodge Challenger Demon. Uh, that's it there. I haven't got a picture to show where it was before, but hopefully that didn't really matter. Here's the three new variants of the Dodge Challenger. So the Bad Cat Red Eye Wide Body, Dodge Challenger Bad Cat and the Scat Pack Wide Body. Um, again, as I said, I don't really know which much of these mean, but I know the, the scat pack's got a carbon bonnet and it's got an extra splitter, and I'm pretty sure it's better performance-wise. Um, so that, so yeah, that's it for the coupes that have been added. The hatchbacks, is, uh, they've added an Audi RS3 Sportback, um, that's from this year's. Uh, Roblox is failing to load for me, so the picture's not on there, so, but, hold on, okay, so the picture's not on there, but that's what it looks like from what you can see, 
uh, SUVs, they haven't had any. Sedans, they've refreshed the um, the E63S Mercedes. Uh, they've refreshed the two F250 Super Duty and the F450. Um, there's not too there's not too much difference between the two apart from the F450 is thick, like real thick. Um, and it's yeah, it's longer as well because it's um it's compatible for I can't remember what it is now because I don't know much about trucks either. But I'm pretty sure it's either for space wise or for off roading. I can't remember though. Anyway, for the supercars, they've added uh, the 2008 uh, uh, Audi R8. That is the V8 version as well. It isn't the V10, and it's the semi automatic version, just for those who want clarification. Hypercars, they've, re they've refreshed the Pagani Hira. Um, which honestly, I think it looks pretty, pretty sick, to be honest. Um, and I'll review it in a different video, but I'll be listening to the sounds and driving all these cars that have been added. So anyway, for classics, there's the Maserati MC12. Uh, it's unlimited, as I said, it'll be until 7pm e uh, Eastern Standard Time today. Uh, the emergency, they haven't added uh, any, like, emergency vehicles. Uh, vans, which um, they've added the 2008 Dodge Grand Caravan and the 2019 Chrysler Pacifica. If you've played South Florida, then you'll know that like they haven't update, they haven't added any vans since the revamp, and I'm pretty sure since before the revamp as well when they first added the Honda Odyssey. So it's good that they're adding, they've added more uh, vans, I guess. Uh, motorcycles, they haven't added anything, and yeah, that's it for the vehicle. So as of for now, I'll run about with the uh, tuning. I'll just do it on my RS3 quickly. Um, pain, obviously, there's nothing new with the pain. It's the same as it was before. You still need a uh, game pass for custom pain and reflectance. Um, however, there's the performance. Uh, as you can see here, this is on brakes, but you need to be um, you need to be rank two plus at Sunset Performance or Sussie's uh, Mechanic Shop, or and rank four plus. So like that's what I mean. It's same with turbocharging, supercharging, and the engine itself. Um, you already, you already get stage one like unlocked already because that because you're already uh, above rank one. But apart from that, nothing's really changed with anything else. Um, and then the new uh, the new wheels, so it's a new uh, Euro section. Um, there's uh, these, uh, there's all of these ones. They look pretty nice to be honest. And I, I don't know much about wheels and rims and stuff, but I know, I know BBS and HRA, they're quite familiar to me. So, yeah, but all of these are pretty cool. My personal favourite are either these ones or these ones here. Because they just look cleaner on the car. I'm not going to I'm not gonna put them on yet, but I will. I will probably do that when I do a video on, like, the car's performance and stuff. You know, when I'm reviewing the cars. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. The last thing before I end this video, I'm just going to quickly do the uh, the refresh sounds on the uh, Dodge Challenger, Dodge Charger, sorry. Um, I've got my Dodge uh, Charger detoner here, and yeah, I'm just going to see how it sounds. Hold on, let me turn up my volume so you can properly hear that. So with the, the with the charger, they haven't really done too much. To be honest, it's not like made a drastic change. But the idle, 
and the ramp itself, it sounds just as good as it did before. Like no major improvements, but at least it's like at least it's not worse than the original sound. So yeah, and that's it. So I've got to do in this video. So that is it for today's video. Uh, soon I'll be coming out with more videos on like the different cars and stuff, actually reviewing them themselves. Uh, other than that, please like and subscribe if you enjoy it. Uh, it'll help me make more. I guess, because I know that you'll be enjoying it, so, yeah, that's all I've got to say, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.